Article 23, shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $243,165 for the purpose of the following replacement vehicles for the Department of Public Works. One one-ton dump truck with plow and wing, two three-quarter ton trucks with plows, and two sidewalk maintenance vehicles. Replace vehicles to be traded in if deemed to be prudent by the Public Works Director, Town Manager, and Board of Selectmen with said sum of $243,165 to come from the unassigned fund balance. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 colon 7 Roman 6 and shall not lapse until these purchases are completed or by March 31, 2020, which is whichever is sooner majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0, the Municipal Budget Committee voted 4-4. Four to four. Fiscal impact note, finance department, zero tax impact. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 23? Moved by Ms. Woolsey, seconded by Mr. Bridal. Mr. Jacobs, our DPW director, would you like to be heard on Article 23? Yes, thank you. Um, the four uh, vehicles, or three vehicles and two sidewalk tractors that are in this for a total of five vehicles uh, were long-term planned out through the uh, capital improvement plan, um, which we annually submit to the planning board and um, is reviewed by them and then adopted or accepted, if you will, by the town. Um, we don't um, just willy-nilly pick and choose what um, needs to be replaced or, or what's um, up next. In particular, uh, the biggest truck, which is the one-ton dump truck, is a Unit 30 that the department owns. Um, it's been in service since 2002. It's a Ford 450 XL pickup truck or really a, a small dump truck. Um, the issue that the department has with this particular vehicle, and it was benched for a good portion of this year due to uh, repair costs, um, in 17, we spent, the department spent $8,450 repairing it, and in 19, we spent $9,788 uh, repairing it. Um, the, basically, the frame is rotted out on this particular vehicle. As many of you know, if, if this vehicle were, were down in the beach area when there's a uh, recent, like for instance, the recent uh, high tide flooding situation and had to move back snow banks, it's more than your average dump truck. Uh, this particular vehicle is exposed to salt, uh, water and salt usage more than, than even a uh, a uh, commercial pay pickup truck, let's say, uh, up in Dover or some other community where they don't have the environmental conditions we have. Uh, the other two side uh, pickup trucks are also, uh, they're 2004 Silverados. Um, so you can see that they both came in about the same time. One's got 83,000 miles on it and the other one's got 115,000 miles. The, the problem is that at this current rate, on if we were don't get this article approved, Essentially, every four years, you're rebuying the vehicle again just in repair costs. I don't think that's a wise uh, investment for the community, um, and that's why they've been brought forward. The other two sidewalk tractors, units 53 and 63, are some of the articulating units that you see out clearing the sidewalks. Um, they're not very dependable pieces of equipment. Case in point is we had what... Uh, what I would consider just an average New England snowstorm earlier this week, and the two vehicles ended up coming back in the shop. Matter of fact, one's been in the shop for a week. Um, they um, very mechanically um, have a lot of moving parts, and uh, particularly with a snowblower where it snaps shear pins all the time, that's a common thing in the, in the snow plowing industry. But right now, transmission-wise and um, drivetrain-wise, uh, they're up on blocks. And they, they took up half of the maintenance garage this year for over six months because the parts come out of uh, their Canadian manufacturer with a distribution uh, center out of Maine, and the Maine facility was not able to supply us with the parts. So they're actually no longer being supported uh, regionally, uh, parts-wise, we actually had to reach out to the uh, manufacturer in Canada to get some of the parts, and then it still took us four or five months. So they're not a very dependable pieces of equipment. Uh, we're looking to service them out and replace them with something 
um, basically uh, either a Kubota sidewalk tractor with a detachable um, front snowblower or something comparable of that nature. In other words, something that's built to be used in this area. Um, we're also looking at three other different uh, manufacturers. We haven't actually specced out or, or picked out what that final piece of equipment would be. But these are very independent, undependable. And what we see is that regularly from you folks, you experience it, you call and say, hey, how come the sidewalks aren't done yet? And that's the, that's the reason uh, they weren't done and can't be done is the equipment keeps breaking. So I take questions. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 23? Uh, Ms. Barnes? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Regina Barnes, 95 Presidential Circle. I just wanted to clarify something for the public. When this article was first presented by town management, uh, the town manager was asking for another appropriation, which would have had a tax effect for this year. And I suggested to the board, and they unanimously agree, that we take it out of the unassigned fund balance. So that came from me. And I feel is the same reason, some may not agree, that taking it from the unassigned fund balance will, the money is already there, tax money already exists, so we can use that for something that is detrimental for our public works department. And they really need this new equipment, the amount of money that's going toward maintenance on an annual basis, that's just throwing money away, so. I think for safety reasons, much you know, similar to the firefighters' safety gear, this is safety for our department, ensuring that they have machinery that works well and can get through what we needed to do whenever snowstorms or whatever may occur. Because without having a road available to our police and fire departments, nothing can get done. And I don't think that this town can function an hour without public works doing what they're supposed to do. And I really like to see this Warren article get passed. As I said, there's no current tax effect, so I hope the voters choose to say yes. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Barnes. Anyone else? Mr. Lassar? Um, hello again. Um, I don't know what to say each time I approach this, but I'll talk about the subject, which is the easiest thing. Um, this is frontline equipment. I don't know if anybody saw that this is like 2002, 2004 pieces of equipment. Um, not all this equipment just goes forward, it goes backwards too, so you can add more miles onto the drivetrain and the engine for reverse when they're plowing up parking lots and going down different streets. Um, when the weather is nice, we all enjoy walking on the sidewalks and it's good when they're plowed. We have that warm February day that we wanna get out and stretch our legs and get out of the cabin. Um, but like this one, what, 04 and we're in 19, so that's 15 years old. Um, the pickup trucks were what, 02s? Uh, 04s, okay, so that's 15 years. I thought I saw an 02 on these one tons. Yeah, so um, I just hope that people will support this article so that Public Works has good, reliable equipment to make our streets and roads safe. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lestard. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 23? Seeing none.